You know, again, it, it really varies because we do so many varietals here. Um, but Karen and I are out in the vineyard um, almost every day going and sampling, so taking little bits of the grapes, um, crushing them up, getting the juice, and we measure the sugar levels and the acid levels. So when we think that the sugar levels hit a certain point that we, we want to pick at, then we'll call, call the crew in to come in and pick. So it's all a labor of love, but we're out there in the vineyard all the time making sure that the acid's right, the pH is right, and the sugar levels are right. So that's really, really what determines how we pick. Also, we take the weather into consideration too. If we know that there might be some humidity coming or even some rain, and we want to get that fruit off the vine a little bit sooner, we might do that. Um, so in an ideal world, we pick based on sugars and acids, um, but Mother Nature always has her way too, so we kind of take that into consideration as well. So it's an all-encompassing. Our mother, Betty Williams, was interested in the whole ecosystem of having a property. She was always interested in use of the land so that it would be there for the next generations. She was a hard act to follow in a lot of ways. Our mother moved to this property in 1968. It was a horse ranch at the time. She thought it would be lovely to have a vineyard. So she started planting grapes. She was financially able to purchase this land because of family oil and gas business from Louisiana. She came to California because she knew that there was more opportunity to do what she wanted to do out here. She found this property and it just seemed like the perfect place. We're all very attached to the land. Energy is very important in a winery. Oil and gas, it's such a valuable resource that we use it all the time for so many things that we don't even think about in terms of natural gas. We have to run the vehicles and the electricity. Pumps and we have presses. Energy is yeah. our lifeblood. Buttonwood is a really special place. People can't believe this exists here. We've been making some wonderful wines. It's fun to watch that progress. Yeah, it all, it all depends because it kind of, the, the work fluctuates. So sometimes it's just one guy on a tractor, see like out in the, the vines there. Um, and then a lot of other times there's people coming through and, and leafing and hedging um, and dropping fruit. So it, it's kind of cyclical. So sometimes there's one person, sometimes there's a lot. Yeah, Santa Barbara County in general is just a really unique space and San Inez, Solvang, Los Olivos, this area in particular. We produce some amazing wines. Um, we're trying to get as many people as we can down here, so we love for the Argentinos to come and hang out with us and drink some wine and try our wine.